2020, the Lord led us to the second step towards the possessing the nation's agenda under the theme, A Glorious Church to Possess the Nations. Our focus was to build a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, a holy and blameless bride prepared for the bridegroom, which is Christ. We were made to understand that God is always working in his church through his people to prepare her as a glorious bride for himself and to make her credible before the watching world. This is to make the church's witness easier. For an untransformed church cannot transform the society. This thing was to focus more on the goal of the church. To help us achieve this goal, the following topics were rolled out to be treated throughout the year. Number one, that there may be glory in the church. Number two, the church of Christ, possessing the nations through prayer, possessing the nations through personal evangelism, raising godly children to possess the nations, the power and beauty of Christian fellowship, and I am an agent of transformation. However, in 2020, due to the pandemic that struck the globe in its intensity just two months into the year, we were, as a church, unable to treat the theme effectively as expected. Since these annual themes are guiding steps towards the overarching theme, introducing a new theme, we believe, will distract the intended progress process towards the realization of the possessing the nation's agenda. In view of this, the Executive Council, after a prayerful consideration, has decided to repeat the 2020 annual theme for 2021. However, as we gradually recover from the COVID-19 pandemic and its related impacts, we also see that the church globally will need some kind of reawakening. We sense a sound of abundance of rain. Brothers, if we have experienced pandemic in our lifetime, we should also experience a revival in our lifetime. Many have succumbed to the virus in the same manner Many should also be brought to the saving knowledge of Christ, our Savior. This can only be made possible by a glorious church which in itself is revived. So, though we are repeating the 2020 theme, we are introducing one word into the theme, revived. Thus, ladies and gentlemen, the theme for 2021 is a glorious church revived to possess the nations. Amen. Topics to be treated will remain the same as those of 2020. However, these topics will be treated with the intention to spark up a revival in the church and by extension, the world. It is my prayer that the repetition of the theme will afford us the opportunity as hence to delve much deeper into the theme, derive a better understanding of it, be affected by it, and transfer same to our ministers and the entire church public. I pray that the credibility and the revival that will spring out from this theme will restore all that we seem to have lost to the COVID-19 pandemic. May the Lord continue to be with us and grant us the needed grace and this time space to carry this theme through to its fulfilling end. God bless us all in the 2021 be a glorious year. Amen. Kindly click on the subscribe button for more gospel videos, news and updates. FMG TV. God is in it.